Hi, this is just a uh, quick D72 um, quick start guide uh, video tutorial, if you will. Um, you'll see that I have my uh, D7 core, D72 core.zip downloaded. This is the package that you'll download. Um, just extract that to any directory and run D72. On the first run, it's going to download everything that's required. And you'll be prompted for your registration information. And you'll want to enter in a um, dcloud uh, username and password. You'll need that for registration. The technician password that you're seeing right here, that is something that you, you create yourself. Um, and you'll share that with your fellow techs who use D7. This is a master password used by D7 for various purposes. Um, you can see more about that in the online manual. We'll just click save and continue. And it will relaunch. We agree. <clears throat> and this is the first launch of D72. So, the first thing you're going to want to do, you'll notice at the bottom it says a new version of the default apps config is available. So just click down here, and this will pop up the updates window. And from there, you'll get the new default apps configs, um, Keteran profile, and kill them all. Just click update and it will complete. Everything is good to go. The only other thing you need to know to get started, you'll notice that your custom apps are all empty. You need to go to config, custom apps, original D72 custom apps, and now here's your list of the default apps that come with D72. That's what we just updated. Um, here you can add and edit apps, um, but you'll want to go to assign custom app to section. Now pick your section, drag and drop the app, and that's it. Now you'll see the app appear here. Should you need to go back and configure the app, or just right click it and go to configure app. And there's some other options here, and we'll just go over that in another video. Um, in any case, uh, that should be all you need to know to get started with D72. Forgot one thing. <clears throat> um, your automotive profiles are now all one profile um, for your various configurations. So what you want to do is save your automotive profile when you're ready up here. And you can give it a name. You can call it anything you want. Um, you can reload your profile settings here, um, delete profile, and start full auto mode also. Um, once you have your default auto mode profile, um, or whatever you want to call it, configured, you want to go to back to config and ensure that you have load auto mode profile on the config page set to the profile you want to load. And that should about do it. Thanks for watching.